Hey everyone, I'm Harvey Mason Jr., songwriter, music producer, and CEO of the Recording Academy. I'm so excited to welcome you to our announcement of the 66th Annual Grammy Awards nominations. This event is the exciting start to Grammy season. Next week on November 16th, the Latin Grammys are live from Sevilla, Spain, and the telecast will air on Univision in the US and Radio Television Española in Spain. And of course, the season will all culminate with the 66th Grammy Awards on February 4th, airing on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Make sure you mark your calendars to see both. Okay, so we're gonna do this a little differently this year. The nominations we're about to announce here on this live stream are just some of the 94 categories. Depending on what you want to see, the rest of the category nominations are all available right now on Grammy.com. For this portion, I'll be joined by some incredible guests, including Arush Aftab, Money Long, Samara Joy, Vince Gill, Kim Petras, and St. Vincent. But first, here is the CBS Morning Team to get this celebration started. Hello to you. We are here, your favorite team from CBS Mornings. We are so thrilled to participate in annual tradition once again. It is always one of the best times of the year. Isn't that the truth, yep. you know? All right, CBS is a proud broadcast partner of the Grammy Awards. This year's show will take place on February 4th, so everyone, please, please mark your calendars Check. for music's biggest night. And Nate, after last year's amazing show with Bad Bunny, Sam Smith, Kim Petras, the hip-hop tribute, so much more, I cannot wait to see what surprises are coming up at the Grammys this year. Because there's always surprises. It was an incredible year. Tony just said that to you, so it's true. So much to celebrate to everyone who's being nominated today, whether you're hearing your name for the first time, that's always cool, or if you've been honored before, congratulations from all of us here at CBS. We really cannot wait to celebrate with you on the Grammy stage. When is it, Nate? It's February 4th. Where is it, Tony? Los Angeles, California. Back to you, Harvey. Thanks, team. All right, now it's my absolute honor to kick things off by presenting the nominees for Songwriter of the Year and Producer of the Year, Non-Classical. For Songwriter of the Year, Non-Classical, the nominees are Edgar Barrera, Jesse Joe Dillon, Shane McAnally, T. Ron Thomas, Justin Tranter, for Producer of the Year, Non-Classical, the nominees are Jack Antonoff, Dernst D. Mile, Emil II, Hit Boy, Metro Boomin, Daniel Nigro. Hi everyone, it's Kim Petrus. Welcome to Grammy season. I can't believe it's here again already. Last year was such a magical time, getting nominated, performing on the show, winning a Grammy, making history. It has been a nonstop joyous whirlwind. Today, that whirlwind begins for hundreds of music people. I am so excited for you, and I hope your careers and lives are beautifully transformed. It is my distinct honor to present this year's nominees for pop solo performance, pop duo group performance, and pop dance recording. For best pop solo performance, the nominees are Flowers, Miley Cyrus, Paint the Town Red, Doja Cat, What Was I Made For from the Motion Picture Barbie, Billie Eilish, Vampire, Olivia Rodrigo, Anti Hero, Taylor Swift. For Best Pop Duo Group Performance, the nominees are Thousand Miles, Miley Cyrus featuring Brandi Carlisle. Candy Necklace, Lana Del Rey featuring John Batiste. Never Felt So Alone, Labyrinth featuring Billie Eilish. Karma, Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice. Ghost in the Machine, SZA featuring B.B. Bridgers. For Best Pop Dance Recording, the nominees are Baby Don't Hurt Me, David Guetta, Anne-Marie, and Coy LeRae. Miracle, Calvin Harris, featuring Ellie Goulding. Padam Padam, Kylie Minogue. One in a Million, Bibi Rexa and David Guetta. Rush, Troy Sivan. They say winning a Grammy or even being nominated can change someone's life. But music is changing lives every minute of every day. 
It soundtracks our lives, giving us hope for the future and conjuring memories from our past. It's there to add joy to times of celebration and a solace in our times of need. Every note that's ever been played has affected someone, and these artists are living proof of that. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grammy nominees for Rock Album, Alternative Music Performance, and Alternative Music Album. For Best Rock Album, the nominees are But Here We Are, Starcatcher, 72 Seasons, This Is Why, In Times New Roman. For Best Alternative Music Performance, the nominees are Belinda Says, Always, Body Paint, Arctic Monkeys, Cool About It, Boy Genius, A and W, Lana Del Rey, This Is Why, Paramore. For Best Alternative Music Album, the nominees are The Car, The Record, Did You Know There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard? Cracker Island, I Inside the Old Year Dying. Hello everyone, it's Money Long here. I am absolutely thrilled to present the nominees for R&B Performance, R&B Album, and Melodic Rap Performance. It was such an honor to win a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance last year. I'll never forget the joy of hearing my name announced as a nominee. The artists being honored today have created indelible works of art and have been recognized by their peers for their excellence. Congratulations to them all. Now, the nominees. For Best R&B Performance, the nominees are Summer Too Hot, Chris Brown, Back to Love, Robert Glasper featuring Sir and Alex Isley, I See You, Coco Jones, how Does It Make You Feel? Victoria Monet. Kill Bill. SZA. For Best R&B Album, the nominees are Girls Night Out. What I Didn't Tell You, Deluxe. Special Occasion. Jaguar 2. Clear 2. Soft Life EP. For Best Melodic Rap Performance, the nominees are Sittin' on Top of the World, Burna Boy, featuring 21 Savage, Attention, Doja Cat, Spin Bout You, Drake, and 21 Savage, All My Life, Lil Durk, featuring J. Cole, Low, SZA. Hello, my name is Samara Joy, and I'm so honored to take part in this year's festivities. Last year, I heard my name when the nominees for Jazz Vocal Album and Best New Artist were announced. It was the beginning of a period that changed my life forever. Being recognized by my peers and fellow music people was and still is one of the highest honors of my life. Now I'm here with another unbelievable honor, presenting the nominees for Alternative Jazz Album, Song of the Year, and Best New Artist. Congratulations to all the nominees. You are more than deserving of this recognition. For Best Alternative Jazz Album, the nominees are Love in Exile, Quality Over Opinion, Super Blue, The Iridescent Spree, Live at the Piano, The Omnicord Real Book. For Song of the Year, the nominees are a and W, Antihero, Butterfly, Dance the Night from the Barbie album, Flowers, Kill Bill, Vampire, What Was I Made For from the motion picture Barbie. For Best New Artist, the nominees are Gracie Abrams, Fred Again, I Spice, Jelly Roll, Coco Jones, Noah Khan, Victoria Monet, The War and Treaty. Hi, it's Vince Gill. Country music has long represented the experiences of people living on society's margins. People who feel left behind, who are struggling but resilient. 
It's a genre made up of songwriters and musicians who find something true and important about the human condition. And through their art, lay bare that truth for the rest of us to discover. I'm so proud to be part of the country music family. It is my great pleasure to present this year's Grammy nominees for country solo performance and country album. For best country solo performance, the nominees are In Your Love, Tyler Childers. Buried, Brandy Clark. Fast Car, Luke Combs. The Last Thing on My Mind, Dolly Parton. White Horse, Chris Stapleton. For Best Country Album, the nominees are Rollin' Up the Welcome Mat, Brothers Osborne, Zach Bryan, Rustin in the Rain, Bell Bottom Country, Hi, I'm Aruj Aftab, last year's Grammy winner for Global Music Performance, a recognition that changed my life. Music is global, it is borderless, and is no longer simply defined by traditional structures. The artists in these fields represent the very best of music. I am so grateful to present to you this year's nominees for Latin Pop Album, Musica Mexicana Album, and African Music Performance. Congratulations to all the nominees. For Best Latin Pop Album, the nominees are La Cuarta Hoja, Beautiful Humans, Volumen 1, A Ciegas, La Neta, Don Juan, Por Mi, Volumen 1. For Best Musica Mexicana Album, including the the nominees are Bordado a Mano, La Sanchez, Mother Flower, Amor como en las películas de antes, Genesis. For Best African Music Performance, the nominees are Amapiano, Ashake and Olamide, City Boys, Burna Boy, Unavailable, DeVito featuring Musa Keys, Rush, Ira Star. Water, Tyla. Hey, how you doing? Al here. Al Yankovic. You know, the, the weird one. Anyway, it's an absolute honor for me to be presenting this year's Grammy nominees for Best Score Soundtrack for Visual Media and Best Song Written for Visual Media. This was an incredible year for music and visual media, an intersection of two art forms that are near and dear to my heart. I wish all the nominees the very best. Unless, of course, I'm one of the nominees, in which case, you know, I kind of hope I win. Uh, but good luck, everybody! For best score, soundtrack for visual media includes film and television. Barbie. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. The Fablemans. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Oppenheimer. For best song written for visual media, Barbie World from Barbie the Album, Dance the Night from Barbie the Album, I'm Just Ken from Barbie the Album, Lift Me Up from Black Panther Wakanda Forever, music from and inspired by, What Was I Made For from Barbie the Album. Hi everyone, I'm Bon Jovi. Welcome to Nominations Day. It's a time for the music community to come together and celebrate the year in music, to shout out, to honor, and give recognition for one another. When the Recording Academy is not doing the work of the Grammys, they're serving the music community in other ways, like advocating for the rights of music creators and giving opportunities to young, aspiring music people. Music Care supports musicians in need, giving direct assistance and helping with recovery. I'm honored to have been selected as Music Care's Person of the Year, and I love being a part of a community that looks after each other while bringing goodness to the world through art. And now, it's my distinct honor to present this year's nominee for Record of the Year and Album of the Year. For Record of the Year, the nominees are Worship, John Batiste, Not Strong Enough, Boy Genius, Flowers, 
Miley Cyrus. What Was I Made For? From the motion picture Barbie, Billie Eilish. On My Mama, Victoria Monet. Vampire, Olivia Rodrigo. Antihero, Taylor Swift. Kill Bill, SZA. For Album of the Year, the nominees are World Music Radio, John Batiste. The Record, Boy Genius. Endless Summer Vacation, Miley Cyrus. Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard? Lana Del Rey. The Age of Pleasure, Janelle Monet. Guts, Olivia Rodrigo. Midnights, Taylor Swift. SOS, SZA. Congratulations to all the nominees and thank you to our amazing presenters. We'd also like to give a special thank you to City National Bank, our proud nominations and premier ceremony sponsor, a great partner, and the official bank of the Grammy Awards. Okay, again, don't forget to tune into the Latin Grammys on November 16th and the 66 Grammy Awards telecast on February 4th. Thank you. Everybody and welcome to the Grammy nominations wrap-up show. What a morning! Seriously. Hey, I'm Cassie Delora, and I'm Denny Directo. It is a very special day today. The Grammy nominations have officially been announced, and we love Nominations mm -hmm. Day because we get to find out which of our favorite musicians are being honored for their incredible artistry. Now there is a lot to get excited about this year. We are seeing tons of first time mm -hmm. nominees, plus both breakthrough and established artists, of course, that are being recognized. There are also new Grammy categories that we have to talk about. So we are here to break down everything mm -hmm. we just learned. So let's dive right into this year's leading nominees, shall we? It has been an incredible year for Women music creators. It sure has. Yes. Let's start with the woman who is leading the pack today. We are talking about SZA, who is actually all this year's most nominated artist in nine categories, including Album of the Year for SOS. Now, she is also up for Record of the Year and Song of the Year, which means after today's nominations, she has 24 wow. Grammy nominations to her name. We'll move on to someone else who is also up for multiple Grammys this year. Phoebe Bridgers. She's got seven nominations today, six of which are with her supergroup Boy Genius, and more on them in just a moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next up is someone who is no stranger to the Grammy stage. I mean, can you imagine being a 45-time Grammy nominee? Literally, no. <laughs> that is the case for engineer Serban Ghania, who yeah. scored seven noms this year, including for John Batiste's Worship, Olivia Rodrigo's Vampire, and Taylor Swift's Antihero. Someone else we're really excited to watch this year, Victoria mm -hmm. Monet. Having been previously nominated for her work with Ariana Grande and Chloe and Halle, Victoria's fans are gonna be very happy. She's getting a lot of love <laughs> today for her debut studio album, Jaguar 2. She's up for seven awards, including Best New Art. Now, producer extraordinaire Jack Antonoff is also a leading nominee today with six, including his fifth consecutive nomination for, of course, Producer of the Year. John Batiste could return to the Grammy stage this year if he wins one of the six awards he's up for, including Record of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year, and Best Jazz Performance. Now, have you noticed just how much range is in this mm. list of nominees? I mean, we are seeing artists from so many different genres being honored this year. We love to see it. We do. Now, we mentioned Phoebe Bridgers just a mm -hmm. minute ago. Included in her seven nominations are six with the supergroup Boy Genius, Phoebe's band with Julian Baker and Lucy Dacus, is also topping the list of most nominated artists this year with six. And the group, get this, is also a first time ah. nominee. Let's move on to Brandi Clark, who as of today is a 17 time Grammy nominee. The country star is celebrating six nods today, including her first nomination in the Best Musical Theater Album category for Shuck. There's that range. Right? Yeah. <laughs> for the very first time, she also landed on the list for Best Americana Performance and Best American Roots Song. It's also 
exciting year for Miley Cyrus. She also scored six nods, including one for Album of the Year for Endless Summer Vacation, which actually marks the first time Miley has been recognized in the category for one of her own albums. Among her other nominations, though, first in the Record, Song, and Best Pop Solo Performance categories. Now, let's flash back for a second. You'll remember during the 62nd Grammy Awards, mm -hmm. Billie Eilish right. walked away with the coveted Best New Artist trophy. Now, only four years later, at the 66th Grammys, she is back with six nominations, bringing her total number of career nominations to 25. This is also the fourth time Billie has been nominated in the general field categories, Record of the Year and Song of the Year simultaneously. Then there's Olivia Rodrigo, who spilled her guts to fans with her sophomore mm -hmm. album, and now she's gained some serious recognition with six nominations, including her first in the rock category for Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. If she wins, she would add to her current collection of three Grammys, which she took home during the 64th annual Grammys. Look at her go. Right. Also, I think I have to play the lottery because six <laughs> is also the number of nominations scored by Miss Americana herself, Taylor Allison Swift. Taylor continues to be in her history-making era. Mm. Get this, with her Album of the Year nomination for Midnight's, Taylor now ties with the one and only Barbra Streisand on. for the most nominations in the field by a woman in Grammy history, or should I say her history? I love it. <laughs> All right, let's dig in now to some of the big categories that everybody's gonna be watching come Grammy night. Of course, there are lots of awards that get handed out, but for music fans, the Album of the Year category is always one of the night's most anticipated prizes. Sure is. Right. Now take a look at this list of eight nominees. First up, we've got John Batiste with World Music Radio. John is now a 20-time Grammy nominee and five-time winner. He also won this category back in 2022. Next up is Boy Genius, proof that when you get three genre-defining songwriters together to make some music, an album worthy of a Grammy statue is the result. Okay, so Miley Cyrus is also on this list for her eighth studio album, Endless Summer Vacation. Mm. This is, of course, the first time one of Miley's albums has landed in this category, so how exciting for her. Very, very. Now, Lana Del Rey's album, Did You Know That There's a Tunnel Under Ocean? Boulevard is also up for Album of the Year. It's actually her second album to be nominated. Next up, Janelle Monet, who dropped The Age of Pleasure back in June. Her first new album in five years. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo's Guts is also on the list. Olivia, of course, is no stranger to the Grammy stage. She previously won three Grammys at the 64th ceremony, including for Best New Art. Best Pop Vocal Album, and Best Pop Solo Performance. She's also showing her range with her first nomination in a rock category for Ballad of a Homeschooled Girl. And Taylor Swift's Midnight's Era has snagged her an Album of the Year nomination as well. We have to take a second to mention just how noteworthy mm -hmm. this year's Album of the Year nomination is for Taylor, because if she wins, she'll become the first artist ever to win in this category four times. Wow, she's yeah. currently actually tied for most Album of the Year wins with legends like Frank Sinatra, Paul Simon, and Stevie Wonder. Incredible. She already is the first and only female solo artist to win the Grammy for mm -hmm. Album of the Year three times for solo recordings, including Fearless, 1989, and Folklore. Okay, next up is SZA, who, as we mentioned, is the the, the most nominated artist this year, her album, SOS, rounds out this category, her first album to score a nomination. SOS, of course, is her blockbuster sophomore album released in December of 2022, and it was adored by both fans and critics and Denny. Uh -huh. <laughs> and can we mention again, women absolutely dominating this category. I love it. I love it. That's also true in this next category, actually. Record of the year. Now, reminder, this is the category that recognizes the artists, producers, and recording engineers. Starting with John Batiste's worship. Now, he said back in his emotional 2022 Grammy acceptance speech that music for him is a spiritual practice. Mm. And it's clear that is still the case with this latest release. Next up, Boy Genius for Not Strong Enough. The supergroup's seven nominations today are first for two of the band's three members, Lucy Dacus and Julian Baker. Okay, record of the year now could go to Miley Cyrus for her self-love anthem, Flowers. Are we surprised here? No. A song that has been streamed over a billion, that's with a B, billion times on Spotify. Speaking of B, Billie Eilish's <laughs> What Was I Made For, the song that took over TikTok upon the release of the Barbie movie. 
Billy co-wrote this with her brother and producer Phineas O'Connell. On My Mama is also on this list from Victoria Monet, who is celebrating her first nominations as an artist and whose previous Grammy nods were as a producer on Ariana Grande's album Thank You Next and Chloe and Halle's Do It. All right, next up, Olivia Rodrigo for Vampire and Taylor Swift's Antihero. These two songs have something in common with John Batiste's Worship. All three were engineered and mixed by Serbian Gania, who now has a whopping 45 Grammy nominations to their name. Wow. Finally, in this category, SZA's hit Kill Bill, her first solo song to be nominated in the Record of the Year and Song of the Year categories. Speaking of Song of the Year, let's talk let's about do it. it. Reminder, this category recognizes the songwriters. Now, here's this year's list. A&W by Lana Del Rey, which is her second nomination in this category. And fans know that Lana is nominated alongside her collaborator, Jack Antonoff, who is a double nominee in the category because he also helped make Taylor Swift's song, Antihero. Well, Jack and Taylor said they never expected the single to hit number one. Really? But I know, right? <laughs> I would have loved to see their Grammy reaction totally. because we all knew that was a hit the first time we heard it. Sure did. Okay. John Batiste's Butterfly, a song written for his beautiful wife who is recovering from a cancer mm. battle, is also getting some recognition on Grammy nomination day. And hi, Barbie. Hi. Barbie's dance theme, Dance the Night by Dua Lipa, also made the list of nominees. Now, a few more. Flowers by Miley Cyrus, the pop star's first ever nomination in this category. Kill Bill by SZA. This is also her first time being up for an award for Song of the Year. And we're saying it again because it bears repeating, SZA, today's top nominee with 24 career nominations. Now, Olivia Rodrigo's haunting track, Vampire, marks the second time she's been nominated for Song, mm. Album, and Record of the Year simultaneously. I keep saying this, but look at her go! I love it. And last but not least, Billie Eilish's Barbie Ballad, What Was I Made For, scores another nomination here, bringing its total to four. Now, Cassie, what do Adele, John Legend, mm. and Maroon 5 have in common? They're a lot better singers than I am. <laughs> and they're also all Grammy winners, but more specifically, they mm. have all at one point in Grammy history taking home the award for Best New Artist. And look at them now. I know, right? <laughs> Here are this year's nominees for one of the night's most anticipated anticipated categories. Gracie Abrams, the 24-year-old singer-songwriter whose critically acclaimed debut album Good Riddance was released in February, and you may have caught her opening for Taylor Swift on the Eras Tour. South London DJ Fred again launched his solo career in 2020. Three years later, he is selling out venues, headlining Coachella, and is up for a Best New Artist Grammy. Next up, she was crowned rap's new princess in 2023. We're to of course talking about Ice Spice. Mm -hmm. Her breakout year included hit singles, plus collabs with people like Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift. And then also, you know you've made it when you have an entire fandom named after your music. Shout out to the Munchkins. Munch kids. <laughs> All right. Next up, his songs Son of a Sinner and Need a Favor helped Jelly Roll climb the charts and become the new face of country music. Now He's in the running for Best New Artist and Best Country Duo Group Performance for Save Me with Lainey Wilson. Former Disney Channel star turned viral hit maker Coco Jones also lands on the list of Best New Artist nominees. As she puts it, her music career has been a long time coming, <laughs> even though she's only 25 years that old. <laughs> but she is bringing a fresh new brand of R&B to everybody's ears. A few more in this Best New Artist category. We got Noah Kahn, the New England folk pop singer-songwriter is already selling out stadiums and riding a huge wave from his 2022 album, Stick Season. Okay, then Victoria Monet, mm -hmm. you've heard her name a few times today. That is because she's actually the only leading nominee who is also nominated Best New Artist. In addition to, of course, Record of the Year, she is also up for Best R&B Performance, Best R&B Album, Best Engineered Album, Non-Classical, and do you have your pens out? I am. And Best Traditional R&B Performance. And finally, rounding out a very talented list of artists, the soulful duo of the War and Treaty. That includes Michael Trotter Jr. and Tanya Trotter. They blend blues, country, and rock and have rightfully earned their spot on this list after show-stopping performances and of course their 2023 album Lover's Game. Now once again those are the 2023 Grammy nominees. Now let's take a look at our nominees by the numbers. Yes because in addition to all of the unbelievable talent we just mentioned today's announcements are also an incredible picture of some of the amazing trends happening in the music industry today. Yes, for starters, a majority of this year's leading nominees are women That's artists right. or groups. 
and women are dominating as the majority of this year's leading nominees in the general and pop fields. We love to see mm -hmm. it. Women also dominate the best pop solo performance category, which features nominees like Miley Cyrus, Doja Cat, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, and Taylor Swift. What a lineup. <laughs> What's even more exciting is that this year, even more artists are getting the chance to bring Grammy Gold home because even more categories are being added. So even more mm -hmm. artists from around the globe will be recognized for their contributions. Now, the new categories are Best Alternative Jazz Album, Best Pop Dance Recording, and Best African Music Performance, where four out of the five nominees are also first-time nominees. Let's take a look at those artists being recognized in this category. They include... Ama Piano by Ashake and Olamide, City Boys by Burna Boy, Unavailable by Davido featuring Musa Keys, Rush by Ira Star, and Water by Tyla. Africa is absolutely full mm -hmm. of creative and brilliant musical offerings, and this new category will help this community of music professionals highlight and reflect the incredible momentum music happening there. Mm -hmm. yeah. We love to dive into those numbers and break everything down, of course, but what some viewers at home don't often hear about is the behind-the-scenes efforts. Yep, thousands of entries were submitted for Grammy consideration, with Recording Academy voting members submitting their votes during the Grammy Awards process. Those members are active members of the music community, including recording artists, songwriters, producers, and engineers. By the way, if you've been admiring these ah. uh, casual fits of ours <laughs> while we've been recapping all of this morning's exciting news, we have good news for mm -hmm. you. This Grammy season, you can upgrade your style. I love it. While amplifying our mission, right? Yes. Jay, he, he's getting a little too comfortable. <laughs> Head over to Amazon.com slash Grammys to check out a brand new collection featuring exclusive limited run Grammy merch. Whether you find something for yourself mm -hmm. or for a fellow music fan, roll into Grammy season looking fresh. I feel like I know my <laughs> Christmas gifts for Seriously. everybody. Right. All right, y'all, as much as we love Nominations Day and what a day it has been yeah. so far, it is sadly time for us to say goodbye. We cannot thank you enough for joining us to help celebrate and honor this incredible list of nominees so thank you so much and of course the countdown to the grammy awards is ah! now officially on everybody's going to be watching on february 4th to see who takes home the grammy gold but before we go we'd like to give a special thank you to city national bank our proud nominations and premier ceremony sponsor a great partner and the official bank of the grammy awards Again, don't forget to tune in to the Latin Grammys on November 16th and, of course, the 66th Grammy Awards telecast on February 4th. I wouldn't miss it, Cass. I wouldn't miss I it really for the world. Would. Bye, everybody.